Rolando de Conte Acústica! Muito obrigado a presença! Vamos lá! How to organize such a beautiful concert in a capitalist society without having money and governmental support? Well, you have to find other ways. For example, by using digital money, you can redesign money and organize self-managed uh, collective of culture producers, like people in the Corais platform that I co-designed together with Rodrigo Gonzato and a bunch of other collaborators and in Brazil, we promoted these money redesign activities in several culture producing collectives. Those who do not have access to money cannot easily organize and raise collective consciousness. An any form of consciousness may reject money whatsoever to avoid greedy and envy. Well, a critical state of mind should see money more like a tool that can be redesigned to encourage different feelings that can perhaps ballast anti-capitalist transactions. Following contemporary trends of a flexible accumulation of capital, money's medium is now turning to digital transactions, such as credit cards, digital bank accounts, blockchain, and other technologies. But these are prone to biases against local communities because they depend on a global system. In creative economy arrangements, the capital extracted from local producers quickly overflows to the global economy through distribution networks, and they may never return back to the locality. While capital is accumulated by those networks, artists receive small fees that are barely enough to sustain their lives, adding little to the local culture that inspired and formed their artistry. Creative economy suggests that culture producers should follow the same way, accumulate capital by building their own distribution networks, regional level, local level, by forming and founding platform cooperatives. Yet, culture producers are not interested in that per se, they are mostly interested in culture production. Hi, I am Rodrigo Freze Gonzato, one of the Corais platform co-creators. I also work with Rede Álvaro Vieira Pinto, a network of studies of the Brazilian philosopher that is one of the key reference of this research. This research describes Colaborativa PE, a collective who designed digital social currents to nurture solidarity bounds in several cultural production collectives spread to Brazil. It's a case of experience in the Global South, where the development of the handedness of cultural producers allowed the social productions of their own existence, not despite, but from their underdeveloped conditions. Hi, my name is Pedro Henrique Jatobá. I live in Mucugê at Chapada Diamantina National Park in Bahia, state in northeast of Brazil. I'm also Communicate Director at Intercidadania Institute in Recife, Pernambuco, other state in the same region. In Recife, we organize the Collaborativa.pe, is an organization that implements one social technology that Intercidadania and other groups organize and management. This social technology is called Collaborative cultural producer that is a collection of methods and technologies to start up a local social business in land house info center or using public facilities the methods available in this social technology includes areas like technology education multimedia archive local media accounting multimedia production internal organization and social credit. To create a social credit in Collaborativa.pe, we first organize the abundance services and product, products available in our territory. To do that, 
we made a local research, open a quiz and inviting the producers, the cultural artists and the local uh, business to inform us what they are producing and what the abundance they, they have available. Also, in this research, we try to identify the opportunities and what they demand also in services and products as well. After that, we organize using Corais.org platform and a list of all services and products available in our social credit. This is the, the size of our economy and also shows the diversity of products that we have if someone wants to participate and, and collaborate in the social economy. During 2013 in 2016, the Collaborativa.pe were organized in, in the Federal University of Pernambuco different actions using social credit. We had education technology activities with courses uh, in extension, university extension. We had uh, events, cultural events. We had also debates and, and f music festivals and also uh, food. We had some business that worked with, with lunch, with some, some food, fast food, uh, and these, org these organizations accepted social credit to use services that are available in our economy. For example, we had a radio bike, we put a sound in the bike with a battery, and we go biking the, the campus of the university, and we had like a 30 minute uh, uh, program. We had weekly, two times a month, we had a new show, a new podcast, and we go to the campus and stay in different centers of the campus and play the 30 minute show with some propaganda, some media from local business that are paid in social credit. So the, the, the restaurant, the vegetarian restaurant close to the university, the, the, the grocery store that want to, to announce in this radio didn't need to pay in reais they could give some they could give us some products in social credit in exchange to have the publicity the media in our social radio so was a partner was a supporter of the, this show and this also provide the ways so the students could eat during this time they are studying also the teachers could have a lunch could have a dinner and this this gives us more uh, opportunity to to enhance the the money and the the, the capacity to consume that we have uh, even if we don't have more reais in our pockets that's possible because we have the abundance of our territory available in this social credit and we have our work paid in this social credit only by participating in the design in the design of their own technology even if this technology is precarious made in underdeveloped conditions it's possible to really recognize this condition as under the underdeveloped and to push the boundaries to improve it using the resources already available at hand led collaborativa pe to an an important point of the conscientization process that is working with our own reality led to the recognition of the possibilities and the limitations of the organization forms and in this way to what what we can call as a critical conscientization <laughs> Sabe como entrar, também como sair.